hey so now we're looking at the capital growth and the sales proceeds and the selling costs for example um, what what basically the property is going to look like or what is it going to start bringing in at the end uh, of the period when you're going to sell it so now we're assuming that we will sell this property in in the 15th year uh, we didn't give it a value so if over here I would have said I expect to sell this property for uh, 1.5 million so if I put 1.5 million in this the software just assumes that you are going to sell it for 1.5 million uh, otherwise it, it is just going to look at your capital growth rate and everything and extrapolate all that data to give you a probable value of what the property will be worth at the end of your 15 year cycle so um, when you sell the property you will be paying agents some commission let's say 2.2 percent uh, for example let's just update everything and see what what this section looks like and there's there's not a lot in this to understand all this is showing you uh, in this column is the capital growth that is happening in your property over a period of time uh, sale proceeds that means when you sell the property you'll be selling it for 1645 because that's what the property will be um, at that time so if you think that it won't be at at 1.6 million it'll, it'll only be 1.5 million I would come in and put in 1.5 million over here so that you think that this is more realistic 1.5 is a more realistic figure you can come in and put that value in click on update all and it will show you uh, it'll update the values based on uh, on what what you put in so now you're selling it at 1.5 and then you're paying 2.2 percent commission for sales that means 33,000. the debt at the end of the period for after 15 years or in the 15th year is going to be 528,000, and your cash flow after the debt service would be 938 so this is the money that's eventually coming back to you um, at the end of uh, your period uh, at the end of 15 years so if you look at all these cash flows all these calculations and everything you know your present value is that you know that's what you'll be getting back at the end of it so in the next video we'll dive into the discounted cash flow the net present value the internal rate of return and your profitability index and we'll discuss what these things are and how you can use them to make a better decision